Eskom has announced that it will implement load shedding as of noon this afternoon. More generating units have broken down, resulting in the utility battling to meet the high demand for electricity. Eskom has urged the public to use electricity sparingly, especially from 4 to 10 p.m. to help minimize load shedding. Prominent scientist Professor Shabir Mahdi is of the view that there aren't enough clinical trials in Africa. He said there was absolutely no interest on the part of the University of Oxford to search out South Africa to do a vaccine study. He pointed out that South Africans themselves approached the University of Oxford to include the country in the clinical development plan. Africa, he pointed out, constitutes 17% of the world's population. A first case of coronavirus was identified in northwest Syria on Thursday, reviving fears of the pandemic reaching the rebel bastions' refugee camps. Mahmoud Daha, head of the World Health Organization's office in Turkey, said the patient was a male Syrian doctor in his 30s working in a hospital on the Syrian-Turkish border. Aid groups have been preparing for months to prevent an outbreak in northwest Syria where a fragile truce has stemmed a regime offensive against the Idlib region. China has warned its nationals in Kazakhstan of an unknown pneumonia that has hit the Central Asian country since mid-June. In a statement on Thursday, China's embassy in the Kazakh capital Nur Sultan warned that the mortality rate of the disease was much higher than that of novel coronavirus. It is currently unclear why the Chinese embassy has described the pneumonia as unknown. And now for a look at your finances for today.